Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is Pearl. Snap, make it snappy. We're gonna do a little homemade card read right now. I don't really have a boilerplate speech I give at the beginning of my videos because I hate listening to those. Some people just, they have them memorized and they're like, okay, that was my boilerplate speech. You know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, please. And if you feel guided, please donate and always, Whenever you watch a Pearl Snap video, it is not mandatory, but there's always a link in the description box to a music video or another video that I want you to watch that goes along with this reading, okay? And I spend quite a fair amount of time editing and choosing those things and putting in the link for you and everything, so don't miss it. Don't miss it. I guarantee it, en it enhances the messages, okay? Message. It enhances the messages, okay? <laughs> so please, come on. Do it right. If you're going to come here, get the full snap snaposis. <laughs> get infected, okay? Get, get you some snaposis. Here we go. All right. Holy Spirit, please come on in and tell us what we need to know. This is a Whatever comes out for the collective reading, but this is one of my food decks, so <laughs> buckle up, buttercup! Ah! Buckle up, buttercup! Ah! You know, oh, we are in a time of, you know, conflict. He's the boogie woogie bugle boy, a company beep bop ba do da ba do da ba 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 ba. Why am I singing songs like that? Well, why do you think? When are you gonna get a clue, Leo? Leo. You know, Leo is not necessarily a. a you know, a, a horoscope talk. It might be, you know, stand for law enforcement officer. It could. You gotta learn to, to uh, read things in more than one way. I mean, part of the secret of, part of the secrets is learning how to all the different meanings of, of certain words, okay? We have a lot of words in English that have more than one meaning, don't we? Yes, yeah, so learn to read, the, read it that way. Oh, look, some Leo said, I am playing your unfair, abusive game. Well, good for you. This must be an upright Leo, you know? Why would you want to get involved in that shit, okay? Because you just end up on the wrong side of things, and you're the one who's supposed to be, uh, you know, keeping the flame to be on the right side of things. So be on the right side of things. Don't play the damn game, Leo. Come on, okay? Too hot for the police and a fireman. Too hot? Hot damn, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Your local FD doing secret crime. Ooh, too hot. Can't make this shit up. For the police and the fireman. Too hot. Hot damn. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Who's running your town from underneath? Your situation will not last forever. This too shall pass. Give it to God. Give it to God. Co-create an end to this crap with the most high God, okay? All right, so your situation will not last forever. This is a message, look, to the... 
to, to these people that are supposed to be um, <coughs> protecting the vulnerable people, all right? This is a message to you. you. You people went upside down. It's time to turn yourselves back right side up. Do it. What we really need is am amnesty for these people who don't like being roped in. And, and you know, we need like to have an amnesty so people can come in and freely, uh, you know, disclose things without worrying about revenge and having their families mobbed and all that. That's what keeps this system in place is this organized mobbing behind the scenes, okay? And it has happened to me over and over. When everyone is happy, then the illusionary reality will not be needed. So if we could just get this amnesty thing going on, we'd all be a lot happier and we wouldn't have to maintain this, this you know, matrix, which is just, it's nothing more than a big web of abuse, okay? And a covert abuse and harassment. It's a big, ugly web of that that keeps everybody in line, okay? And viral bullying, that's bullying, keeps it all going on. Wow. Okay, because they stole our lives. Their lives are now on hold and will be so permanently. Some may spend in jail waiting for court forever. This is what happens to people who get mobbed right out of their lives. They put your life on hold. They take it away from you. They suck your life out. It was a battle during Egyptian times that caused the matrix to be laid down on earth. Involves magic. Okay, this is, this is what we curse breakers are doing here. We're back to get, get this shit <laughs> buried once and for all. It's not going to come back up again like those, you know, it's not. Because look who's here. There's a lot of powerful light workers and, and light warriors here that have had enough of this crap. Look at it. it's been going on since Egypt and before. These magic wars when these entities come out from the tombs and the graves and everything and they're mad. They got a they got access to grind. Fooby do, all right? This is foo shit. I'm telling you, this is real foo because we in the foo now. There's nothing you can do about it, okay? And But you have to have uh, some kind of... spiritual vision to see what's going on, to see underneath the surface of things. A lot of people are just sleepwalking around and they have no idea anything's even wrong, okay? Now here we have environmental stewardship, Ecotopia. Now this is interesting because Ecotopia is a book. It really is a real book. Here, I'm sitting right next to my bookshelf. Here, let me grab it. I think it's right here, yeah. This is really interesting because this is so relevant to what's going on in the world right now, this book, Ecotopia. I recommend you get a copy, okay? If you're one of these West Coast leftists, especially, you'll especially like this book. But everybody else should, you know, should, should read it with an open mind too. It's about what would happen if the whole West Coast seceded from the Union and became its own nation. It's actually a really good book. Highly recommend. Let's just do a quick, right in the middle of this, we'll do a quick random. Oh, shoot. I need glasses. Hang on. Need me some glasses here. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. 
Okay. If I culturally appropriate any uh, other um, United States dialects, I don't mean it disrespectfully. I assure you. I've more than proven that I'm a friend to other races. Has Ecotopian livestock or ag agricultural production suffered because of the conversion of so much land to forest? Apparently not. Vegetables, grains, and meat are reasonably cheap, and beef cattle are common features of the landscape, though they are never concentrated in forced feeding, fattening lots. Thus an almost dead occupation, that of cowboy, has come back, and cattle ranches in the Sierra foothills have reverted to the old summer practice of driving their stock up to the high valleys where they pasture on wet mountain meadow grass. Driving their stock up to the high valleys where they pasture on wet mountain meadow grass. Smell the grass in the meadow. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Grasslands. Research is said to be leading to the sowing of more native strains, which are better adapted to the climate and resist the incursion of thistles. Weeds. Pasture irrigation is practiced only in a few areas and only for milking herds. What was Ecotopia? It was a, it was a, well, we know what utopia means, and the United States has a long history of different groups trying to start utopian communities. And this is, a, this is sort of a utopian, or a real, very idealistic subset of the, of the American people in this science fiction novel that was written in, It's, it's by um, Ernest Kallenbach. Okay. First edition was published in 1975. That's the year I graduated from high school. Okay. Eco, from the Greek... Oikos, household or home. Topia, from the Greek topos, place. So it's almost like homeland, you know, and homeland security. This is kind of like predictive programming, people, okay? But the true love of the ecotopians is their forests, which they tend with so much care <clears throat> and manage in the prescribed stable state manner. There they can claim much success in their campaign to return nature to a natural condition. Well, what does that sound like to you? Devolution, okay. After all the big fires in the war, okay, Ecotopia was created. That's, that's what the story is. Powerful, magnetic. It's a very powerful story. What else we have here? Oh, look, something really is going on lately. Here, hidden controllers discovered and deleted. Something's at work in the background, you know, Belon Tusk. You started this. I think somebody had to like tweak the program a little bit to turn it around so it wouldn't be so so you know they had to, to, to they had to turn it around it was it was inverted they had to turn it right side up what else quantum located in another part of the materium or a hard drive
It's kind of like there's something out there, and Belon Tusk has something to do with this. That, you know, um, and Belon, by the way, if you're out there, you really, I hope that you're guided to make a donation to my channel. Someone else is collecting the money. I don't know who, but it's certainly not going into my bank account. Maybe you could tweak the algorithm to get some views on my channel, get some eyes on it, get some subscribers, because somebody else is collecting the money from it. So this shit started in the 1960s. It really got going then. That's when it really got going. I just heard Disneyland. Disneyland. What does Walt Disney have to do with all this? I, you figure that out, okay? You figure it out. <sighs> Too hot for the police and the fireman. I'm gonna link you to the uh, Disneyland marching band. I love them. That's, that's gonna be the link in the description box for this video, okay? What else? There's some data consolidation going on. Back to that topic of Belon Tusk and his specialty, data consolidation. This brings to mind huge, you know, like server farms and places like that. Maybe even offshore server farms, okay? May I please? Nobody asked anybody if they could do this shit. Did we know this? Come on. There's a certain subset of these clowns that are so jealous of the authentic empress energy that they, they, well, let me just say this. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, but it's not even used in a nice way. It's just nasty. You know, cancel culture, okay? I've been canceled. I had my whole life canceled. My whole life was canceled. I've been canceled over and over and over and over and over and over. And, and you know, look, a fool repeats his folly. It's supposed to be covert harassment, but if you do it too many times, it gets really obvious, especially when there's hidden cameras everywhere. Do you get it yet? Boom! Whap! Pow! The art of war, okay? Let me tell you something. You watching the art of war right now. You're watching it right now. Inspector Clouseau version. <laughs> Brought to you by some damn yard gnome. No saying? No saying that? Okay, that's enough of that. All right, let's. I'm guided to pull a, a couple of these. And the sun's just coming up right now. It's sunrise here. Sunrise over white sands. And the highest vibing person on the block is up before anybody else. Okay using their gift. To expose things. The sun's just coming out here. 
Sun's coming out. High wind warning was the weather report here last night. High wind warning. All right. By the way, today is February 24th, 2023. You are about to shine. <laughs> Look at that. That looks like a, yeah, that's a, that's a desert critter, an armadillo. Look, they're known for their hard shell. The hard exterior shell is kind of like the armor of God. All right? What did we say here? This situation will not last forever. Give it to God. Get you, get you your armadillo suit on. Look at that rainbow light, a candle in the dark. Somebody underestimated this little armadillo. Almost there, foxy lady. <laughs> yeah, and look. That's not nice. Put some respect on my name, R E S P E C T. What else, spirit? Oh, self respect. Look, self worth, self love, self value, self respect. You can't make this shit up. Look, it says respect. You know, okay, a lot of the covert harassment that was, and stalking that's been done to me was body shaming with fat women being put in my face all the time. And you can't imagine what that feels like to the person that it's being done to. It's, it's almost like having somebody walk right up to you in the street and go, hey, fatty, hey, ugly, you're fat, you know? I mean, they'd have these people cross right in front of me when I'm leaving the grocery store, especially. These women with, the, with a caboose that's a mile wide, walking really slow, making sure I can't leave without getting stuck with behind them. That kind of stuff was being done. That's just, that is just, come on. Yeah, defense. That's, that's what this gang stalking is. It makes you be on the defense all the time. You, you become so that you can't... It's done to scare people and make them afraid to leave the house, make them so they can't live their best life because they're always in fear. And I know what this feels like. It's been done to me for years and years now, literally for decades. There's seven swords here, okay? And this is the four horsemen also. And that, and that gold coin, that's, that's Romans, Roman energy. Seven of swords is the thieves' energy. This is who we've been dealing with. They're predators, they're parasites, you know, they're, they're uh, tyrants. They have no scruples. Ugh, look, you can't make this up. They use witchcraft, okay? This card also has seven swords on it. You can't make this stuff up. There's the devil riding a lying mouth, okay? Spinning a web of lies, you see that? Look at that heart up there. They want to stab you right in the heart. 
This is what's underneath all this stuff. Remember in the very beginning, I talked about using your spiritual vision to understand, you know, what's really going on here. This is my homemade numbers card deck. So let's get a number. Let's just get a number here. few numbers for today. Let's get a few numbers. Oh, wait. Okay, this came out. Cycle complete. So that's a 10, but this is like, I'm, I take it because it's not a 10. This is a grand cycle that's completing right now. And then we know that's what's going on. Grand rising. It's sunrise over white sands. One fell on the floor. Let's see what we got on the floor here. Oh. Four. Stability. We're building new foundations here, okay? After this grand cycle completes, then we build a new foundation. This is, this is what the ticker says right before the grand cycle is complete. And I have said before that the 999 is a subset of the 144. Okay, in the end times, you know, just your, there would be all these people prophesying that's who the 999 are. And the ticker rolled over, people. It rolled over. The ticker rolled over. You know when it happened? On New Year's Eve of last year. These people have been dragging it out since then and it's still being dragged out. Okay, let's take these two. Oh, 44, another 44. Okay. 10, 10, 44. Try to get some light on that. Completion, double completion, double confirmation, completion. 44, look, what was I just talking about? The 144, the 999 is a subset of the 144. Why do you think there's all this revival going on? Okay, it's because the cycle's complete and something brand new starts. It's like a new baby has been born. I'm going to leave it there. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please share this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for tuning in.